Whoa. So you want to see something real interesting, Alex? I went to pick up the flip. Hi, I'm Alex McCrickard. I'm the Aquatic Education Coordinator with the Department of Game and Inland Fisheries. And I'm Mike Bednarski. I'm the Fisheries Chief over at DGIF. Today we're actually at Pocahontas State Park and we're actually going to be exploring Swift Creek Lake. Uh, it's a great impoundment if you live in the Richmond metropolitan area. There's lots of great fishing opportunities here. Um, and we actually had a great day on the water. We got out chasing some fish early on. Yes, we did. You know, it was a hot day. It was a sunny day, but we adapted. We persevered. We started off early in the morning with a topwater approach, throwing either a frog or a popper. Oh. There we go. Nice. It's a little bit better of a fish, but we didn't get the roll on camera with him. It was a very subtle roll. He just came up behind it, grabbed it, subtle take. Not a real big fish, but it's still a decent fish for this time of the year. Get him back in. But just fishing one of these soft plastic frogs on a 5 aught hook. Um, just skittering on top of the pads, 50 pound braided line, and he just came through right over there in that spot. Not a bad fish, about a pound and a half. There we go. You blew up on it. Another fish about the same size. But again, on the, the white and black frog, but the fish are just kind of holding off in the deeper water on those pads. And that fish came off of the deeper water outside the pads, but the odds are pretty good. He was sitting back there and just came out. And that's a lot of what these fish will do in this type of a setup is they'll sit under these lily pads and cruise them and ambush any food that comes by. And this bait is just too much for them to pass off. Then we transitioned into more of a, a look into the cover approach, throwing either flipping a tube, uh, Texas rigged with a heavy weight. Nice. Whoa. That was a cool take. So I just picked him up actually flipping the lily pads as a follow up to the frog. We'll get him back in. Another one of these um, kind of cookie cutters out of, of uh, Pocahontas State Park here. Get him back in. What I'm doing here. I've got a Texas rig tube. Um, I like this color because I can never decide if I want to throw a, a blue one or a brown one, so this one's got a laminate. But it's got a 4 aught hook, real heavy wire hook, 50 pound line. If I'm throwing a half ounce weight, I like the 4 aught hook because I think the 4 aught hook suits the bait a little bit better. But if I'm throwing a 3 quarter ounce or bigger, I throw a 5 aught hook because that big weight, when it, you go to set the hook, can knock the fish's mouth open. And if you don't have a bigger hook, you can miss it. But for what we're doing here, fishing the holes in the lily pads, I'm just throwing it in every little pocket I can, working my way down the line. And, um, you know, just got that fish doing it. We'll see if we can get some more. Or getting a jig and pig and setting up a jig and pig into the laydowns in some of the beaver lodges. That's your winter smallmouth set go to there. Jig and pig? One of those deep holes. Can be good. So a jig and pig is usually a great bait for a big fish. This is not one of them. But he was there under those trees in that log jam. And that's one of the really appealing things about Swift Creek Lake from a fishery perspective is there's a lot of cover there. Um, there's the opportunity for a lot of approaches. Um, you know, you threw a fly rod for quite a bit as well. Yeah, we even got some fish on the fly, um, fish in subsurface, found some fish uh, with large streamers around the downwoody debris and along the edge of those, of those lily pads. What you got there? Large mouth on the fly here in the middle of the day. We're just bouncing around this lily pad edge and this fish took a um, articulated streamer, you can see it gold conehead articulated white fly there in the corner but you see beautiful um, dark green fish here we're just kind of bouncing along this lily pad field it's producing a couple Let's see if I can't pop the fly out here give him a drink little fly rod fish in the front of the camera here nice. nice olive green back on this fish you can see that lateral black lateral band too we'll send him home living in the lily pads 
Yeah. I think that variety really lends itself out here. You know, it's a it's a relatively small lake, but you can fish four or five techniques over the course of the day and really hone your skills, um, not only here, but for other lakes that you're going to fish in the future. Yeah, and being able, you know, to, to again, find fish on, on different approaches, different techniques, you know, whether you're whether you're fishing subsurface with a jig and pig or a tube in the pads, um, or throwing some of those larger half and half clousers or some of those articulated streamers that worked on the fly rod, um, or opportunities for, for topwater lures like the papa or the frog. It's a great way to experiment and cover different water. Um, this is actually uh, Pocahontas uh, State Park and Swift Creek Lake is actually a, a, a one of our impoundments that we sample on a um, annual basis. And actually, um, the uh, our, our survey results show that there's actually a great forage base for the largemouth bass here. Uh, there's good numbers of gizzard shad, bluegill, red ear sunfish, um, and actually really good numbers of golden shiners, which is a great provides a great forage forage base for the largemouth that are here. I think it sets up the largemouth population relatively well. Largemouth are relatively abundant, up to about four pounds. And if you put your time in, you can get some bigger fish. I came out here one day in October, and I had a fish over six pounds. Yeah, so there's definitely some nicer fish around. We, we got a lot of those kind of cookie cutter fish today in that kind of pound to pound and a half range, which is great fun. Keeps keeps uh, it keeps it active with uh, with with the rod bent uh, a bunch. So uh, great day out here and uh, and and a, and a wonderful resource to explore. Yeah, and I, I think we'd be remiss to not talk about pickerel as well. Yeah, there's a, there's a good population of chain pickerel over here at Swift Creek Lake, and they'll keep you busy in the colder months. So don't don't let a little bit of cold weather keep you from getting out here. Yeah, no, November through March is a great time to get out, chase some winter largemouth, and have fun with some of the chain pickerel that are going to be a little more active. We also have catfish in the lake too. Uh, good numbers of bullheads. Uh, if you like to fish, you know, bottom rigs, uh, there's some different opportunities for whatever species you prefer to target. Yeah, it's one of the things that makes this such a great destination. Not only is it close by, but there's something for everybody out there. Yeah, absolutely. Swift Creek Lake is not only a great resource if you like to fish, but uh, there's a lot of other great recreational opportunities here as well. Mike, you spend a lot of time here. You live close by. Right? Yes, I do, Alex. I'm actually a season pass holder for this park, and I like to come out here with my family, do a little bit of hiking, do a little bit of nature watching. We saw bald eagle and some great blue herons today. Yeah, we saw a lot of wildlife and today. You know, in addition to that, great place to see turtles. Oh, it's too. a great place to see turtles. Tons of turtles. But we're really excited about this as well because you mentioned the the park aspect of it. Nate Clark with the Department of Conservation and Recreation, one of our sister agencies, is actually here with us today to provide more detail about some of those opportunities and really highlight the fact that this is not only a great place to come out for a fishing trip, but a really great place to set up a day trip with the rest of your family. Good afternoon, my name is Nate Clark. I'm the park manager of Pocahontas State Park here in Chesterfield County and, um, and welcome to Pocahontas. Uh, Pocahontas State Park is uh, located very close to Richmond, only about 30 minutes away, so, so great access to, to just lots and lots of people in the community. Um, got a lot of really good recreational opportunities out here also, like fishing, bird watching, hiking, uh, mountain biking, huge mountain biking facilities down here. Um, just a great park being this close to Richmond. We are actually the largest state park in Virginia, right at 8,000 acres, or just under 8,000 acres. Um, we've got over 100 miles of trails total, including about 40 miles of dedicated mountain bike single track trails. Um, we are actually, along with other trail systems in the area, uh, bronze level status for International Mountain Bike Association uh, Ride Center. Um, so really, really good trail riding out here. Uh, definitely a destination and, and a lot of mountain bikers every year. Um, we've also got, like I said, about 100 miles total of trails, so hiking, uh, trail running, equestrian use, um, just a little bit of everything on the trails. Uh, we've got three lakes in the park, actually. Um, two of them are, are very accessible and, and very, uh, very easy to get to. One of them is Swift Creek Lake. It's about 255 acres and is great for um, small craft, uh, paddle craft. Um, boats with electric, to electric trolling motors are allowed, canoes, kayaks, paddle boards. Uh, we rent boats during the summertime, so if you don't have your own boat, come on down and, and we'll rent you one of ours. Um, also have a campground, 129 site campground with water and electric hookups. Uh, got camping cabins and yurts, um, so lots of overnight opportunities, and, and we're building cabins this year. Come back next year, we're going to have uh, five brand new cabins that are open. Well, thanks, Nate, for that uh, great description about the recreational opportunities that are available here at Pocahontas State Park. Um, we encourage everybody to get out here. You know, I hope to see you out here. If you have any questions about the fishery, contact DGIF. And if you have any questions about the recreational opportunities, please get in touch with DCR. We'll see you on the water.